Hello everyone. Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. Myself Mohammad Zubair and in this video we will show the steps to set up free PBX GUI to manage an installation of Asteric on AWS. Well to start with you need to have free PBX. Either you can get it from the marketplace or you can get this one. I will put the link in the description as well. So just click on this one and it will ask you to subscribe to this one. I have already done that. So now I'll just head back to my AWS. Here it is. From here, go to its dashboard and in here we need to create the instance for our free PBX. So I will just do that in here. But before that, I want to tell you something that is related to key pairs. If you just click on your key pairs, from here you will need to create a key pair because you will be requiring to have a key pair to access your free PBX from your SSH. I will just create one and we have another way for that as well. But here I'll just show you that how you can create your own key pair. From here just name it anything, I will name it as AWS Free PBX. After that if you want to access your free PBX with SSH, go with .pem and stay with RSA. I'll go with .pem, that is why I'll just check this one and I will just click on create key pair. It will download a .pem extension file for me as you can see in here. I'll go back to my dashboard and this time we'll go towards our instances. Now we need to create an instance for our free PBX. For that I will just click on launch instances and as we want to have free PBX so just click on AWS marketplace and just search for free PBX hit enter. It will show you everything related to free PBX. Here it is. This is the one that I want to use. So just click on select and now we will wait. From here just click on continue and it will open some of the instances that we can use in order to have our free PBX. We'll use the free one. As you can see here it says free tier eligible. Just select this one after that click on configure instance details. From here just click on add storage. Just click on add tags and now click on configure security groups. I will go with an existing security groups. I have two of them. This is the one by default in here and this is the one that I have created earlier. I will recommend you to go with the default one and then just click on review and launch. From here click on launch and in here now it says choose an existing key pair or create a new key pair. You have two ways. I'll go with create a new key pair. You can name it anything. I will name it as key one and I will just click on download key pair. You can use the one that you had created earlier as well, but I will go with this option and now click on launch instance. It will take a few seconds to launch your free PBX instance on your AWS. We are done and our instance is up and running. If I go to my view instances option, here I have my instance. Now here you can name your instance anything. There are two names that are associated with your instance. This is the name that is there for your reference. You can name it anything. I will name it as Zubair. You can name it Alex. You can name it anything. The actual name of this instance is Ubuntu because this is based on Ubuntu and like we have CentOS, Ubuntu, AWS and many more instances. So that name will be used to access this one from our SSH. I will just name it as free PBX. Save it and now it's time to access this instance using our SSH. So I'll just open my CMD. Here it is. Now in here I will write here SSH to make sure that I have SSH installed into my system. Otherwise I will not be able to access my instance using my SSH. Now I will write here SSH hyphen I and now I need to write the path where I have my key. So I will just write here backslash C colon backslash users backslash Zubair backslash downloads backslash and here we need to write the name of the key which is key one dot PEM because the extension is dot PEM. After that write the name of your instance which is Ubuntu as I have explained earlier at the rate of now here if you click on your instance here we have public IPv4 DNS just copy this one because we will be needing this one to access our instance I will just paste this here hit enter 
and it will add this one into our instances just right here yes and here it says permanently added and now it will access our free vbx instance through our ssh we are done over this one and now it's time to set up our free vbx like we need to set up our mysql or smtp as well this is the documentation that will help you to do everything i will put the link in the description as well so first of all we will set up our mariadb but before that i'll go into my sudo mode for that purpose i will write here sudo space hyphen i now you just need to copy all of these commands and paste it into your terminal or your command prompt hit enter it will do the rest on its own now it's time to go for our mysql as we are done with mariadb so i will just paste all these command hit enter we are done with this one as well now it's time to set up our free pbx server just copy everything from here and just paste them into your command prompt again hit enter and as you can see everything is running on its own so we just have to wait for it and then we will move ahead at the end of this process it will require you to press enter once again for the command that says dot backslash install space hyphen n hit enter and it will do the process so we are done with setting up our mysql and our free pbx now it's time to go with our smtp setup so i'll head back to the documentation and from here just copy these three commands and just paste them again it will do some processing and we will wait for it now it's time to install our postfix for our smtp you can find the command in here as you can see the command is apt get space install postfix space hyphen y i will just paste that command hit enter it will download and install postfix so that we can use our smtp we will wait for it because it will take a little bit of time now it's time to set up our smtp for that purpose we have to go into the configuration file of our postfix which is main.cf so i will write here nano backslash etc backslash postfix backslash main.cf hit enter in this file we have to write some of the commands as you can see here we have a relay host in here we need to edit this one so i will just go to this line and in front of it, I will write here smtp.gmail.com because we are setting it up for our Gmail. After that, we need to write the port number, which is 587. After that, we again need to write some of the commands. So these are some of the commands that you will be needing to enter into this one. At the end of this, thus write here, no anonymous. And at the end, I will write one more command and the command is smtp underscore use underscore tls equal yes we are done with this one as well now we will get out of this i will press ctrl x press y hit enter we are done with the configuration file now it's time to go to the password file the command is same but at the end i will just write here sasl underscore p a w s w d which stands for password hit enter and now in this one again i will write my domain name which is smtp.gmail.com and after that its port number which is 587 and then i will write the email address that i'll be using to send my emails so i will just write my email address in here after that put a colon and write the password of your email address i will just write it here and now we are good with this one as well in here, you have to add your own email address and the password for that email address. Now press Ctrl X, press Y, hit enter. Now we need to add this file into our post map file. The command for that is post map space hash colon backslash etc backslash postfix backslash sasl underscore paswd hit enter. So we have successfully added this file. Now we need to reload our postfix. The command is sudo postfix reload hit enter. We are getting the error because port number 25 is being getting used by some other service. So we need to free that up so that postfix can use that port. So I will just do that. The command for that is lsof space negative i or hyphen i space colon 25. Here we can see the process ID of the process that is using port number 25 and now we will kill that process. The command for that is 
kill space hyphen nine space the ID of the process which is 1096 and hit enter. And now we will install the mail utils for our postfix. The command for that is apt hyphen get space install space mail utils hit enter press y and it will download some of the files and it will install it now we need to start our postfix the command for that is sudo postfix start hit enter now we need to add some more commands in one of the files and the file is generic the command for that is nano space backslash etc backslash postfix backslash generic hit enter in this file i will add some of the commands you can find those commands in the description of this video these are the commands and make sure you enter your own email address that you had entered earlier after that just press ctrl x press y enter and we are done with this file as well and again now we will go back to our main.cf so i will just write here nano space backslash etc backslash postfix backslash main.cf hit enter now we need to add a line to set up our smtp generic maps and the command for that is smtp underscore generic underscore maps equals hash colon backslash etc backslash postfix backslash the name of the file which is generic we are done with this one now press ctrl x press y hit enter we are done with this one and now at the end we need to post map this file as well and the command is post map space backslash etc backslash postfix backslash generic hit enter and now we need to restart our service as well and the command for that is service space postfix space restart hit enter we have successfully restarted our service we are done with everything that was related to our command prompt. Now it's time to open our free PBX GUI. For that purpose, head back to your instances. And here it says public IPv4 address. Just copy this one and open a new tab. Paste that, hit enter. It will open a free PBX GUI for you. So I will just configure my account. I will write my username. I will have my password. I will confirm it. After that, write any email address. I will write it here and then just click on setup system. It will take a little bit of time, so be patient and wait for it to get completed. So we are done with creating our account. Now it's time to access our free PBX administration. Enter your username that you had just created. Enter your password, click on continue. It will open a new user interface for you. This is how it looks like. Select your language, click on submit. Our free PBX is loading, so we will wait for it. So this is the graphical user interface of our free PBX administration and this is the dashboard. And as you can see in here, our MySQL and SMTP both are running at the moment. Now in case if you want to change the name that you will be sending with your emails, go to your settings. After that, go to your voicemail admins. From here, go to your settings and from here, go to your email config. This is the template that you can have personalized. In here, you can have your email body. Email from string means the name that will appear on the email. Then you can have your own date format and many more things. After you are done with everything, just click on submit. And after that, just click on apply config. Now I'll show you that how you can have the latest of everything in your free PBX. For that purpose, go to your admin. And after that, go to your module admin. After that, click on check online. Click on download all. And here you can see the message, click on process. These are all the processes or you can say these are all the files that will be downloaded. Scroll down, click on confirm and now it will start the download process of all these files and you will have all the latest things on your free BBX. As you can see here, it has started the process and it is downloading every file one by one. We will wait for this process to get completed and after that we'll move ahead. Now just click on return and wait for it, it will reload everything. And now at the end, just click on apply config button and you will have all the latest thing in your free PBX administration. So that was all about this video. And in this video, we have seen that how we can set up our free PBX on our AWS. And then we have also seen that how to set up MySQL and SMTP. And at the end, we have also seen that how we can have the latest things in our free PBX. If you have liked this video, 
please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and if you have anything to ask please leave a comment below we'll get back to you as soon as possible and i have also added all the necessary links of all the files and all the commands are also in the description of this video i'll get back to you in the next video